Well, we've had seven winners from seven races. Incredible season, unheard of. And, um, but I think if you look at those seven winners, they've all been top drivers. And uh, I think there's every opportunity that at the next race, Valencia, we're going to have an eighth winner. Um, I think there's some very quick drivers in very quick cars who have not uh, won a race yet. And um, you know, I particularly think of Michael in our car. Um, and, uh, but the Lotus is a very good car. They haven't won. Sauber have put some great results in. They haven't won yet. So there's every opportunity that um, in Valencia that we'll, we'll see an eighth winner, which is going to be amazing. I would assess our season so far as having a lot more promise potential than the previous two years, but we haven't quite uh, fulfilled that potential yet. Um, still got a lot of races left, but I'm pleased with the performance of the car because the, you know, we've won a race second in Monaco. Uh, the car's nearly always you know, in the top four or six cars uh, in qualifying. And so I think the car's much more competitive this year. But we haven't quite put the whole program together. We've, uh, we've dropped the ball in a couple, of, uh, a couple of races. We haven't made the most of it. And I intend you know, for the rest of the season to make sure that we as a team um, fulfill our potential. Because I think the potential this year is much better than previous years. In Canada, the problem we had with Michael was um, uh, a hydraulic coupling. We have. Um, we have couplings which are quick release because we need to change parts quickly, put them back on the car. And they have a locking system, and the locking system seems to have fatigued and um, allowed the coupling to come undone. Uh, it's not a problem we've obviously seen before. And uh, we're going to change the design to make sure that uh, um, there's less likelihood of it happening. But it's a, it's a very well proven part and uh, very frustrating that something such as that would uh, cause a problem. I think the, um, you know, the lack of reliability with Michael has been a huge frustration to everyone here because our standards here are extremely high. We haven't changed any of our um, procedures or approach. We haven't taken any shortcuts or we haven't let the system uh, slip in any, any way whatsoever. So it's been highly frustrating that we've had the problems. It's been peculiar. Uh, and one, whilst I don't believe in fate too much, it's been peculiar that we've had one car that's done every lap of every race this year. And then with Michael, we've had three or four problems. So um, we're constantly, as we are with performance, we're constantly looking at how we can improve the way we work and the way we operate. And from every problem we've had, we've taken a, a lesson in how we can uh, improve, how, can, how we can do it better. I think the Pirelli tyres have been quite an, an enigma this year. Um, the understanding is definitely improving. Uh, but once you understand a problem, you've then got to find the solutions. And finding the solutions is not uh, always easy. And it would appear that some cars um, are able to attack races with no consideration for the tyres because they don't uh, use the tyres so severely. And other cars use the tyres very badly and uh, suffer problems. And you've even got cases where you've got two drivers within the same car with one suffering and one not. So it's very subtle, the, the, the boundaries. And uh, when you go over those boundaries, uh, you know, the tire's deteriorating. They're very subtle, those limits. And um, we're certainly a lot better than we were at the beginning of the year. In Australia, we had an immediate problem. And I think some ways that woke us up to the issues and we've improved our understanding, we've improved our techniques, we've improved the technology. We have some more things on the car in Valencia which are intended to help manage the tires more effectively. And it is the challenge of this year and I think that's why you've seen, um, let's say, the, you know, the different uh, uh, results that we've been seeing this season. Well the keys to understanding the tires are temperature management, um, predominantly either getting them warm enough or, or keeping them cool enough because the tyres work in a certain temperature zone and uh, if you're on one side of it you're too cold and you won't have the grip and if you're on the other side you're too hot the tyre will start to deteriorate very quickly. So 
it seems simple, you just need to keep it in that temperature zone, but you know, the car goes from uh, carrying um, 150 kilos of fuel to, to zero fuel. You've got four tires on the car, and when they go around the circuit, they're all heating up differently because of the corners. So it's managing that uh, complex puzzle um, through qualifying, which is different to racing, and then through the race to get maximum performance. But fundamentally, it's down to the temperature. Well, our hopes for um, the team and the drivers is to win championships. That's our ambition. Uh, and we need to move every season towards achieving that ambition. So you know, every year we try and win the championship. It's not possible for every team uh, to win the championship. Somebody has to win the championship. But our ambition every year is to win the championship. And if we fail in that ambition, what do we need to do to achieve that ambition? And over the past couple of years, we've done a lot of reorganization and strengthening of the team to achieve that ambition. Um, Nico's driving very well. As I say, the car is extremely competitive. And Nico's one race win away from leading the World Championship. So, you know, we just have to fight with everything we have to achieve the best results we can and um, see, what, uh, see what evolves. But there's no reason why not. With the, with the tyre situation, I think predictions of where you're going to be are very difficult because you need to uh, get there, you need to see how your car reacts to the tyres, how your car behaves, um, what operating temperature you start to generate on the tyres. Um, but I expect Valencia to be a reasonably good track for us and um, I expect us to be competitive as we have been in most of the races this season.